What do you get when you take a Volkswagen Golf, you give it more than 100 horsepower more, and you give it all-wheel drive? You get this. This is the latest version of the hot hatch Volkswagen Golf R. And today we're going to take it to the track with a special guest. Well, the Golf R really is the top of the line when it comes to the Golf family. We start with our regular Golf hatchback. We include the Golf Sport Wagon. The GTI is the performance version of the Golf that's been around since 1976. And the Golf R really is the top of the mountain. Starts with a two liter turbocharged engine, which produces 292 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. Now that's a lot of power and you want to be able to control that. So the Golf R features our four motion all wheel drive system that a portion power front and rear up to 100% in either direction to ensure the best traction. Now all of this wouldn't be much fun if you didn't have the right transmissions. The Golf R gives you a choice. We've got our six-speed manual transmission for the traditionalist and our six-speed DSG box which is essentially a manual transmission that's controlled by a computer. It rips off really fast shifts. In theory it's actually faster than the manual but I still like to have that third pedal down beneath my feet. But you be the judge, you choose which one you like best. Equipment wise, Golf R has everything. We're talking about 19 inch alloy wheels with summer performance tires, our all new MIB2 infotainment system, which features App Connect, which allows seamless integration of smartphones, navigation system is standard. We've got a really nice subtle body kit, so you know from the outside it's a little bit different from your run of the mill GTI. Xenon headlights a rear spoiler and the most deep dish seats you can find in a Volkswagen. Very comfortable, subtle, very luxurious, but with a sporting nature in mind. Power, doesn't it? It does. It does. It's impressive. I really, I really like these uh, cars. They're uh, so much fun, especially this one now with the all-wheel drive. It's a blast to drive. Well, there's no better person to test out a car on a racetrack than a, an actual race car driver, <laughs> Patrick Carpentier, uh, racing from everything from sprint car to NASCAR, everything. So, so tell, tell us, what do you think about this car? Uh, it's the first time you've driven it. Yeah, it is. I've driven it uh, before, but the new version and the uh, the improved uh, chassis platform, if you want, with uh, the way it is and close to 300 horsepower, this is the first time I drive this one, and it's unbelievable. Uh, I've driven the GTI, a lot of stuff, and, and for somebody who likes speed and wants to have fun but still can drive from home to work or to the racetrack, this is an amazing car, and especially because it's all-wheel drive. In Canada, this is the best thing you can have for the winter if you want to have fun. So is it reasonable to say that this car, you could bring it to a racetrack on the weekends and, and do some lapping with it? Yeah, for me, I've always been a fan of VW and Audi and I've had a lot of cars uh, from these guys because it's a stiff platform. It's a solid, uh, the way they balance the cars is very neutral and I'll, I can show it to you a little bit later and you can balance it in the corners but what I like about these things is that you can push them on a racetrack and go back home and the car still runs fine you know you're gonna change tires at one point and do different things but the Golf R you can work it really hard on the track and still drive it so it's it's fantastic I've seen a lot of cars in the past that we tested you do three four laps quick quick laps on the track and then it's overheating and then the brakes are wobbly and but now they really balanced it well. Now this is showroom stock this car. What would you would you want to see anything different on this car? No, for me it's always more power. <laughs> <laughs> if it could have 700 horsepower it'd be fantastic. But uh, no no it's amazing and I was impressed with the power because on the racetrack it's really hard to see the power and this one you can feel it, you know, if you 
the brakes are good and I think it's well balanced I think it's a nice package for a street and track and to get a little bit of a mix of both you see it slows down really well it sets up well it turns it's not too uh, understeery and if it is you can lift and it will move sideways and it's a wonderful car actually and you've driven the GTI how does this compare to the GTI well, to me, I always say it's a GTI on steroids. That's what it is, you know. It's the same thing, same uh, version, same well-balanced machine. We did a, a test at uh, Las Vegas and it was with the GTI and uh, enjoyed it. Ran it hard all day on the track. I thought at one point we are going to start struggling with brakes and nope, the thing felt fine. And this is even a more improved version, faster, you know, more power and enjoyable to drive. This is closer to a, a racing showroom uh, car. Woo <laughs> <laughs> I hear the speed limiter kick, the, 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 the little ding, ding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is incredible. It's pretty amazing on a racetrack to just feel the the speed like that, you know, and the balance. And if if it gets a bit tight, you lift a little bit, and I'll show you here. You just go like this, then you're not turning, just lift, and you see how it rotates yeah. right away. So I really like the the balance of uh, this car. It's so much fun, and man, it's got some grunt to it. Eh? <laughs> well, you know, they had a concept, the Golf R400. Have you seen that? No, I haven't seen yeah, that. Yeah, 400 horsepower. Oh my <laughs> God. You see, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Always more, more. <laughs> there we go, Patrick Carpentier and the Golf R. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks.